Hi everyone, this is Austin from Raw Bliss. I uh, wanted to give you guys a little farm update, October 25th, uh, 2020. So it's a little different since last time I saw you, the white sapote is no longer fruiting. That's been done for a while. And uh, the jackfruit just finished. Uh, we're at the end of jackfruit season. Um, our friend's farm, he still has a few more. Um, let's see if I can show you this. Uh, this is a black sapote. These are coming into season in the next week or two. Um, so I'm really excited. They ripen off the vine. So once the calyxes like, lift off the fruit, we can pick them. Stoked on that. Um, I tried one at the Fruit and Spice Park the other day and it was, I loved the texture. It was really pudding texture, not much flavor, but I don't think it was properly ripe. So we'll see. And then we got these sapodillas. Um, those don't come in until February. And uh, yeah, we've been getting a lot of coconuts. And we've been doing a lot of work on the farm. So Just let me see, show you guys. There's a ripe Rolinia up there. It's yellow. I've been seeing this one green for so long. And we should be able to harvest it here soon. we got to wait for the tips to get a little black. Here's our vegetable beds. I just cleared this one out today. And we've been working a lot on these ones. Um, these are radishes. So you can see those red things there. Those are radishes. we got eggplants down the middle here. A whole lot of radishes. Uh, this is black turmeric. That's been there like, you're supposed to wait like two years, I guess, to harvest it. Look at these. It's beautiful. That's a big one. Been getting a lot of these dwarf Cavendish bananas. These things are amazing. I think there's also gross Michelle variety over there. That was really good. Um, got some, I think it was collard. Uh, I forget. This is like a green leaf lettuce. It's called Mir. Uh, those are getting close to ready. It's like a Got some green onions here, just planted. Got a lot of arugula. This stuff is so good. This is like probably my favorite. And uh, yeah, we got some kale. This is the Toscano kale. And we already harvested a bunch. We had like 40 bok choy. But this is what's left. They let me keep a few for me and they sold the rest. Um, so yeah. I get all the ugly ones with the bit up leaves and stuff, and I'm all good with that. And there's a different variety of bok choy called Shanghai Green. And this kind of reminds me more of what I got in Vietnam. It's like a baby variety. It's more tender and not as like a strong flavor. More arugula. And we just planted these. Um, these are jalapenos. They're called Black Magic. Uh, this is all yucca. And we got some collard greens. I just weeded this bed. These are all uh, uh, Jerusalem artichoke, this whole bed. And then we just planted all these pineapples. I mulched over it. Beautiful. Did a lot of weeding over here with the weed whacker. Um, these are garlic chives. Those are really tasty. Lots of turmeric, as you can see. And then we got pole beans along these poles here. We got all these beds ready. We're planting herbs down here. We got cilantro, dill going in, more greens. And then we got tomato, basil, tomato, basil. We got two types of tomatoes. We got citrine, cherry tomatoes, and then we got indigo cherry drop tomatoes on this side. And then here's more pineapples. We got 65 pineapples in the ground total. Short and that's my uh, update for you guys. Let me know if you like the shorter videos by giving it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.